off with a roll call. Sacco. Rocco the London. Tiger. Foolish drug. Wifle. I don't know how I feel about the change of pace. Babyface. Hold on, put on my chapstick. And I'm in row there, nicknamed to be determined. Welcome to WCBJ, the Comic Book Jones Podcast. Yeah. Coming to you from Miss Waffle. Hey, Waffle. Yeah, Waffle. Yeah. 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 Waffle. That's my name, Ed. Yes. Name Waffle. <laughs> now, I'm Waffle. Yeah. Waffle. Yeah. Yeah. Waffle. Not Waffle. I apologize. How are you doing, Waffle? I'm doing Waffle. dandy. That's good. Who took my spot last week? Nobody. Nobody? Good. Irreplaceable. Good. <laughs> Every so often, uh, the Jew got on the mic, but... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, you try to work with my hand. See, I'm the one that doesn't mind that. It's you guys that have the, Then we let him on, though, and then he had nothing to say. <laughs> we actually were like, fine, take the fucking mic. And then I, then I, then back I off. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. He like declared religious. Yeah. And then he, he started to dump his box of matzo. <laughs> Why did you have a box of matzo? I'm not answering this question. I don't know. I'm not answering this question. So what's up, everybody? Nothing, man. What's up with you? How was your uh, that night off last week? It's okay. You read comics. Oh yeah. What'd you read? Comics. You can't remember? No, I read um, I reread Red Rocket Seven. Yeah. By Mike Allred. Nice. I found the hardcover in my room and I powered through it again. And? You it's, feel it's beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. Actually, there's a customer I'm bringing in next week. Like, it's, he's got to read it. He wrote and... Did he wrote and drew it, yeah. That, right? yeah. It's a a love letter to the history of rock and roll. Right on. Through uh, Aliens Clone's eyes. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah awesome. it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Very enjoyable. And I didn't know that the afterward was by Gerard Way, writes who did Umbrella Academy and Killjoys, uh-huh. is that that was one of his first like major comic crushes was Allred. Oh, really? Because like, that makes your writing make a lot of sense. It's yeah. a lot for Allred versus Mignola who wins? In like, oh. a, like an art comp? Like, oh. in my fist mind? Fist fight. A fist fight? <laughs> Physically? Yeah. Probably <laughs> Allred? No, I think Mignola. Yeah, think so Mignola's too. surly, man. Yeah. Oh, he's a surly man. Yeah. He, uh, he looks like he has an attitude. Yeah, no, he's he's bone well, all all right, Oregon, whoa. isn't he? Uh, 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 people from Oregon are very mellow. Uh, 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 <laughs> Did we, remember we had a customer that had a, a personal feud with the Ulrich family? <laughs> so I'm confused. Okay. No, I just blew my beer on you. <laughs> so, you know, remember, remember Rafael Amana? Yeah. He used to live in Washington State. He worked at his job. And uh, yeah. Hans Ulrich, my, my son, worked with him. And he got into a fight. And he actually like, got into a fist fight. And then he was at a comic convention in the state. Oh, and the Ulrich so. family yelled at him. Like, told him to get the fuck away. And that they're going to fucking come <laughs> after him and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound like a bunch of hillbillies. Yeah. Or something. Like they, they had like a they're fucking, Mormons. They had a trailer like hitched up <laughs> inside yeah, the con. They're, they're Mormons. Oh yeah, same difference. Yes. Yeah. How old is my son? They, they didn't think he was at old. He's, he's like old, uh, your, your age, a little bit older now. How old is my boy? Like late thirties, early forties. No, no, yeah. Old, old 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 like mid forties, mid forties, late forties, at least. Oh man, definitely. So if he was forty, then he has son when he was twelve, that was my age. Okay, he's old. Anyway, <laughs> you're overthinking it. Why does it matter? We're talking. That's a podcast support. Wow. So <laughs> we, we do have some guests tonight. Yes, we do. Yes. The uh, hosts of the Super Live Adventure podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get to know them, let's hear some listener emails. <gasps> Shut up, Joe. Yes. You have new mail. Yeah. Oh, let's also recognize our studio audience tonight. Yeah! Yeah! Couple of weeks back in the audience with, with his uh, lovely female assistant, Heather, or his handler. I can't tell the difference. Heather has decided to make tonight a pajama party. Yeah, that's like the seventh time she's been at the podcast. <laughs> you wear jeans and a polo shirt at every week. Everyone else is dressed down all the time compared to you. <laughs> well, no, that was the, the week he was Chris Christie. Oh, yeah, that was Chris Christie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and 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 the real uh, Chris Christie. Go, go tell you. Um, <laughs> Observation? I guess. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or a couple of days ago, I was on uh, Google looking for a uh, replica Chris Christie fleece jacket. Can he just inform me that he tagged some of the pictures as, Ed, as Chris Christie with the Chris Christie official website? <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, Chief. Because I thought it would come as a dead tail. No, no one can hear you, so stop talking. You're not going to shut the fuck up and get behind the camera. Tiger! Thank you, Tiger. But 
you know, we, we could very easily get a blue fleece and then go to like fucking things remembered and have it embroidered. Yeah, that'd be. Do the same thing. Can we can we get like try to get free food out of like IOPS and stuff? Well, the only way right? <laughs> we're gonna get something yeah. authentic is if we break into Chris Christie's house. That should have been hard. I think they have one maybe on ChrisChristie.com or something. Official yeah, question. ChrisChristie.com. Can I get his tour shirt from the Fall Winter Tour of 2011? Are you ready for the first email? I'll tell you look for Chris Christie Christ official show. Sure. <laughs> official <laughs> memorabilia. Do you think that this theme song should be rocky like a hurricane? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not for Springsteen. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, shut up. It didn't go over anyone's head, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 Everyone ready? Because the first one's a riddle again. Oh, 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 oh go fucking. He's not fucking happy. Everyone just sounded. <laughs> <it. laughs> hey, did a diddle. It's time for a riddle. Okay. <laughs> Dear peons, astonishing! You deciphered a riddle in a, a kindergartner, stu a kindergarten student could have solved during their nap time. Well, well then, you, why'd you send it? You a, coffin, a coffin was the answer, so enjoy your sense of fulfillment, nincompoops. Mm -hmm. Tiger, are you sure you don't write these to us? No. <laughs> <laughs> this week's brain buster is as now, follows. Okay. What English word retains the same pronunciation even after you take away four of its five letters? Schedule. What English word retains the same pronunciation even after you take away four of its five letters? Fuck. Butter. <laughs> Butter. Lemme. Oh. Oh, so wow. it's a five letter word that sounds like one letter. Well, Tiger, what if she gonna be a hat like a brain? Uh, <laughs> Q. What is Q? It? Q. Q. You, yeah. Ah, yes. You. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, future guests. <laughs> <laughs> as you, or as my mother used to uh, make fun of me for when I started Netflix, the Quay Way. Quay Way. All the British Isles aside. <laughs> okay, so it's Q. There you go. Now, are we going to be like first graders because we got the second riddle in a row? Well, we did. Oh, we didn't, wait, John, no, John, well, technically we answered it. <laughs> could have gotten it, I was, we could have thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you all enjoy reading about me today because my genius has been known to be awe-inspiring. There was a Riddler, the Riddler of Villains one that came out today for uh -huh. the inside joke for Edward Nigma is trying to give us. Oh, oh, Happy oh. thinking, simpletons. Did you come in and buy your own book? Huh? huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you can let us at least know that. Start letting us know if you even come here. God. Yeah. I feel like the fact that he calls us all peons has to be a clue. Like, there's a very certain specific. There's a couple websites that that like links to in my mind that he's <laughs> he's from that he yeah. goes on way too many times. <laughs> like a snack on his side. Sour power straw. But you sure what it is about so slowly? Uh, but I love that it has like a, a cat on it, like tag. Blowing his head off because it's so sour. Factory. That's why it's like a <laughs> No, but they're so sour. His head is steaming. Yeah. Which I don't know, sour equates to the head And steam. he's got a scram bam scuffle going on. <laughs> yeah. That's what my brother always called it when like scram -bam? cartoon characters would fight and yeah. there'd be like lightning bolts and like just a cloud and yeah, is there a and the scram bam flies out. Scram bam comes from any scram bam scuffle, baby. That's right. We got, we can make fun all you want. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. We got, oh, and I'm making fun of the flavor. Yeah, sure. so how many he's making fun? Nobody's how many, making fun. How many pounds of sugar around there? A lot. Thirty-two grams. Oof. Uh -huh. that first I love that you knew that. Right he was just reading. Bam. So I just looked at it. Yeah. Oh, it's very interesting. Everyone ready for email number two that we just got? I'm so much more impressed with Tiger than I should be. Don't be easily fooled. Sorry. Oh, here's a good chat. The weeklies. Love to all CBJ. EOD. Oh, well, this is from Tony and all. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> really fast, that means. No, no, no. EOD? Middle finger. It said weeklies, period. Love to all, period. CBJ dot EOD dot. That's Everyone probably dies? <laughs> <laughs> We're typing up a message for uh, four and a half minutes. So don't say it, man. <laughs> no, uh, well, here you go. So a chat with one Mr. Daniel Rodriguez, and it's come to my sad attention that he was mightily satisfied with the Avengers film. Why your sad attention? My yeah. dad? Except that he believes Chris Evans shouldn't have been cat. Why? Wait, blast? Yeah, blasphemy. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> Go back to your fucking Batman books. <laughs> that He's apple, sad. man. He been exceptional in my eyes. So my week's quandary is so, if you could replace any actor in the Marvel DC movie universes with the actor you thought was better, who and why? Well, I make Ben Affleck Batman. Well, they're already doing that. <laughs> well, I've, I've actually said uh, before that uh, Ryan Reynolds was the perfect Flash. Perfect he, yeah, 
Yeah. Or guy. No, and I, I thought, but I thought Bradley <laughs> Cooper was, would have made a much G- better. Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor. Fuck Jim Carrey. I think Maury Amsterdam should have been the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! For all you fans of the Dick Van Dyke show, I'm trying to think of the guy who played. The guy, the name of the actor did uh, Freddy Fingers. The dude from the Old Spice commercial, the Screams. <laughs> <laughs> Terry something. Uh, Terry, Terry Crews. Terry Terry Cruz. I see Terry Cruz is like. Is he a black? Luke Cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should play Luke Cage. Just kind of War Machine. Machine. War Machine, yeah. Don Cheadle's pretty good. I know, but still. He's pretty good. You know, well, I think uh, Tom Green should see him. Don Cheadle is in my eyes. I'm going to be the horrible uh, Sammy Davis Jr. from the Rat Pack movie that HBO put out. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <I'm laughs> Don Cheadle. My bum is on the kryptonite. How do you not smoke me plastic, man? Oh, that'd be awesome. Hmm? But that's not a change. Yeah, but that's not a change. No, I was thinking there that. There's no plastic man. I, I just wanted to say that out loud because it was a good idea. Creepy. Ving Rhames is Odin. Ving Rhames is Odin. <laughs> Ving Rames is Odin. <laughs> just to mix it up. No, oh, Steve Buscemi is Ben Grimm. Yes. There we go. Doing Great. the voice and shit? Oh. Yeah. Steve Buscemi is Thor. <laughs> just the John Thompson and Steve Buscemi is Thor. He's <laughs> <It's> pretty good. <laughs> Steve Buscemi is Thor frog. The dog. The dog. Well, now Force I know who, who Ed's CC guess as a Marvel could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm still, I'm still yeah. rooting on that for you, Ed. By the way, yeah, all right, cool. you're gonna have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna up to you this week. Yeah. I still would have preferred Chris Pine as Green Lantern. Of course, you, I've heard you have a fucking list of like top ten. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Do you change out your Green Lantern body me. pillow with oh, different faces of actors? <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> body <laughs> Don't snuggle that's with the, body That's body. like the depths of the creepiness baby. I can see baby face getting to because that's like the borderline of like it losing would, his mind. It would be Jane, <laughs> if anything. No. No. <laughs> I get you a really hunky mid-80s guy one. Where he has like the sh- like that that vest like uniform. What the guy Gardner? The vest? Yeah, guy Gardner. The <laughs> vest kind of deal when he got beat up by Batman. Yeah, it's shirtless? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to bring on our guests. Really? Because I'm not done with the email. Yeah. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I thought you had my natural conclusion. Just because you got done with the storm effort fast, Christy, doesn't mean you can hurry up now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Liefeld and his swa- swarmy ass. Swarmy? You mean swampy? Or smarmy? Smarmy? Swarmy? 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 Why, why do you want to fuck Layfield in his ass? Shadow uh, soul? You want to squeeze his buttocks? Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan? Well, P.S. Ed, yeah. Danny would also want to know, would you rather do the commercial segment for memory, or dress up as Cher and do a rendition of Do You Believe in This Life After Love? For <laughs> Kieran. I haven't done one of those yet. For Kieran. Oh, It'll man. help him believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you put glasses on, it'll be like Peter Griffin singing the song. <laughs> <laughs> his clit is in his chin clit. His chin clit. His, his chin clit. His chin clit. His chin clit. His chin clit. Oh, his chin clit. Oh, oh my god. I mean, I'd really have to take off the pounds and fit in that costume. No, we make one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know where to get exercise for sets. What was it like? Cass <laughs> Elliot, Fat Cher, anyway? Oh, wow. Whoa. Mama Cass? Wow. Oh, wow. Speaking of wow. fat shares, did you know that in Algeria this weekend we had 160 downloads in one day? In Algeria! Drink up, buddies! Yeah! Thanks, guys! Thank you, Algeria! That means a lot of you find this interesting. French in Algeria. Mokutu! Thanks, Mokutu! Oh! I'm trapped in downloads! That's my favorite episode of Dexter's Fun Show. If you guys are willing to pay, we'll come and be on whatever late night programming you have because it can't be any better than what we've got here. So, woohoo! Oh, yeah! Maybe they get Jimmy Fallon all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, shit. <laughs> How do you do this? Yeah. With, with poor jokes. Oh, that's why I love baby face. Oh, no. Tom Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Jones. You're not unusual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, and crackers. Look take at all that beer. Take a sip from your beer before it, it overflows again. No, not yet, baby face. I want to wipe up my man. I don't know if we're all right. Are we even on? Okay, so now oh, we're, yeah, we're on. on. We're <laughs> so now are we allowed to bring on our guests? Uh, yeah, sure, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll bring them on. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 